Welcome Virgos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 31st of October through to Sunday the 6th of November 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. Oh wow, okay. Be assertive. I feel that many of you, you're being guided to take down a mask of how you feel about somebody. I feel that you're being guided to know that you deserve this love, whoever you're connecting with, or you deserve love. All right. I am picking up a lot of love around you, Virgos, just in that one card. Um, I feel also you're being guided to be assertive and surround yourself with positive people, positive energy. Um, but also take down that mask around. I feel somebody that actually really does love you. Like they see you as like their happiness. Um, it might even be a really close friend. Um, I feel like this person sees you as somebody that they could build a future with. But I feel that they're also not the greatest of communicators. Um, that's what I'm picking up. All right. Um, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. That card going to come out. No need to worry. Yeah, I feel that I feel that many of you, if you are resonating with this message already, I think you know who I'm talking about. I feel that you're being guided to take down your mask. Um, perhaps approach this person. There's no need to worry. Uh, many of you, meditation brings answers. So this week, um, before you take down that mask, perhaps express um, or reach out to somebody. Uh, I feel uh, you're being guided to ground yourself, go into meditation, maybe prayer meditation. Many of you may get answers directly from Divine Spirit Universe. You know, I was saying that this person isn't the greatest communicators. Virgos, it might actually be you. You might not be very confident to express how you feel. And I feel that whoever you're connecting with, they either know that or they know that you like talking about your emotions is is a bit of a battlefield they and they may know that and it feels as if it's really on their mind you're very very much on their mind Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah. I feel that this is where that meditation is coming in. Some of you, it feels as if, okay, these cards wanted to come out. It feels as if you're not confident with whoever you're connecting with. Um, what you may not realise is that actually you bring a, a lot of happiness to this person. And it might actually be a really, really close friend. Um, either the two of you, uh, whoever you're connecting with, you do move around in the same circles of friends. I feel that you're being asked, uh, you're being guided to ask them for support okay, around the, the situation. And that's what I was picking up. It's really important this week that you surround yourself with positive people, people that are uplifting, people that if you speak to about this love connection, that I feel that many of you might be wearing a mask with how you feel, like those friends around you, I feel like they're going to really encourage you to be assertive and to... Um, uh, approach this person in some shape form or another okay because it feels as if you guys really do deserve this love but you're just perhaps not confident about it um forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so that is why i feel that you either have lost a little bit of your confidence when it comes to love because you were hurt in the past um i feel it's time to forgive that person or that past relationship um let it go release it take the learnings from it and move on as you do that, that is where you're going to be. Um, that is where you will experience love right here, right now. It's like you're being guided to be in the here and now when it comes to love. Yeah, there is nothing to worry about because I think unbeknown to you, 
whoever you're connecting with, um, they see a lot of happiness with you. They, I feel like this person w would love to build a future with you, love to have a family with you. Like there's a lot of love here, but they, it almost feels like I, I'm getting this image of someone almost scratching their head. Um, like, you know, do they, don't they, do they, don't they? Because you're not letting your guards down of how you're feeling. And I feel that you're being guided to take that mask down, be assertive. There's no need to worry. Um, reach out to your spirit team. You'll get answers. But many of you, um, there are friends around you that will help you. And that's why I feel that you're being guided to really surround yourself with positive people. For some of you, there may be re religious factors that's affecting this connection. And that's why you possibly may not be confident to come forward. Maybe you're from different religions, different backgrounds, different cultures. It says here your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So either there's a number of ways you can take it really whatever resonates for you um either you genuinely just don't feel because this person is from a different religious background or you're from a different uh religious background the two of you can't come together it's like it it's almost like um it may create um upheaval within your families i feel that you're being guided that you deserve this particular love be in the here and present. Um, do you know what? This is only going to be a small note for some of you. What they're giving me right now is that if you were, um, if you were at a young age involved in a, an arranged marriage and it didn't work out, it really left you um, lacking in confidence to pursue love that is your breakthrough and so whoever is around you it feels as if they are like a close friend or you guys move around in the same circles i feel that you've got no need to worry because there are um reciprocal romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring because unbeknown to you this person is also feeling the romantic stirrings of their heart, love when it comes to you. And you're being guided, uh, Virgos, you deserve this love. You deserve, particularly if you had um, an arranged marriage, okay, of some sort, and it didn't work out, it left you feeling really not confident, yeah? So you're being guided to connect with yourself, connect with divine spirit universe. You will get the answers that you seek. And I feel that you're being guided. It's time to take down that mask and be assertive with your emotions because you do deserve this love. All right, Virgos, if this message resonates for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the... Uh, oh, they're just saying to me, this whoever this person is, okay, um, that you haven't reached out to, um, if you do have the courage and the strength to reach out to them, it will be a really beautiful, beautiful, abundant connection. I feel that many of you are not going to regret it, all right? Okay, if this message resonates, please feel, feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Virgos. It also enables you to get those um, notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 31st of October through to Sunday the 6th of November 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on. Because I feel that whoever you're connecting with, they are also really feeling this romantic feeling um, towards you. 
they too might not be too confident to come forward because um, you're not giving nothing away. All right, thank you. Wow. OMG, the Four of Wands. I wasn't joking when I said that this person sees you as um, happiness, like somebody that they could build a future with. The Four of Wands is marriage, long-term commitment. This person sees you as their wife, their husband, somebody that they can build a future with. Wow. All right, my angels and spirit, thank you. Yeah, I feel that this person wants to come in and speak their truth, but they are waiting. Um, they will speak their truth. I feel that this person is waiting, observing for the right moment to approach you. Like I said, I was picking up that this person is almost kind of like scratching their head. How do they communicate with Virgo? How do they speak their truth? How do they come forward? And you can see with this Queen of um, Swords, uh, whoever this person is, male or female, they are watching you, perhaps from a distance, not sure what to say. I feel that this person, when they come in, um, they will be very truthful with what they've got to say. They'll get straight to the point. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And look at what comes out, the Five of Swords. Didn't I tell you this person is scratching their head? OMG. In fact, because the Five of Swords has come in right in the middle of the reading, it tells me both of you are scratching your heads over this connection. There's a bit of a distance between the two of you. Many of you might be getting messages, both of you. Uh, these crows are representing... Um, universal truth. Divine spirit universe is almost nudging the two of you together. Um, but because I feel it's you that's not very confident when it comes to expressing emotions, this person is observing that. They know that you are not great when it comes to expressing emotions. And for many of you, it might be because there was a a broken relationship for some of you not all of you you might have been in an arranged marriage at a young age and it didn't work out and that has really knocked your confidence when it comes to love but you can't deny the romantic feelings and it feels as if divine spirit universe is almost tap tap tapping um in your mind like this is a truth here you can trust what you're what you're feeling this romantic feeling between the two of you you can trust it because you deserve this love, all right? Um, so it's just saying there is a bit of a battlefield when it comes to talking to one another. But this person's definitely um, observing you. Uh, I feel like, well, I, I saw somebody scratching their head and it's quite uncanny that that card came out. This person wants to approach you, talk to you, but they don't know how to. If it's somebody that you know, like a friend or somebody that that you both um, uh, are in the same circles, they don't know how to bring up the topic about how they're feeling about you. Because you're not giving anything away. You're being guided to be assertive and take down your mask. Look, with the chariot card, could be dealing with a Cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart. Honestly, that small note of some of you that had an arranged marriage when you were young and it did not work out, you are healing from that and you're coming out victorious. This time, this this is the time to forgive, um, take the learnings from that and move on. Once you do that, it's going to totally turn around the connection that I feel that Divine Spirit Universe is bringing in for you. Again, the two of you, the chariot represents two people that are from different backgrounds, different religions, different cultures. Some of you might even be across the waters, different locations. I feel that many of you, you do want to rush into this, but you're just not confident because you're not you're not great when it comes to talking about emotions and whatever has happened in a past relationship, for some of you, it might have been an arranged marriage. It really, really knocked your confidence. You're coming out victorious this week. 
yeah the chariot i feel many of you you're gonna yeah it's like rushing in this person's gonna rush in someone's rushing in to speak um and i feel that you're being guided look you're being guided to offer um a green light maybe a small token of love okay many of you you might even be observing this connection and you're thinking oh my god like and pigs will fly why would this person be interested in me that's why you're being guided to let your friends help you it's really really important to be around people that have a positive energy um and you will rub off on that okay there is no need to worry because i feel whoever you're connecting with this person is serious about you, yeah? They see you as long-term commitment, marriage material for sure. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> With the two of swords, this person is, like they, they want to init initiate a conversation with you and they just don't know how to. That's that queen of swords energy, male or female they're really thinking scratching their head you may be scratching your head um there is a real battlefield when it comes to expressing emotions this person definitely wants to talk to you but they don't know how to bring up the topic of love all right um you could also be dealing with a libra or you could have libra in your chart thank you i feel that the strength card it looks like it came out reversed um, you could be dealing with a Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. The fact that it's reversed, um, not them not being able to talk to you about how they are really feeling is really putting them in a position of weakness because they don't know which way you're which way you are leaning towards. We've got the um the six of cups here you could be dealing with a scorpio or you could have scorpio in your chart it's come out reverse but face up the six of cups is is letting me know that the two of you have um lived many lives together there's a sense of familiarity there's a sense of nostalgia okay on a spiritual level it feels as if the two of you are really missing each other um even though you're not together in this lifetime um there's a familiarity and and you're like if you and this person are not around each other you miss each other when you don't see each other okay um but it's come out in reverse. It feels as if this person is feeling really disappointed, feeling really weak, that they are not being assertive to have that conversation with you. Um, yeah, they're feeling kind of like a, a little bit disappointed that either you're not even seeing them, um, disappointed that you're keeping your cards um, very close to your chest about how you're feeling hence why you're being guided to take down that mask and be a bit assertive i feel that you're really being guided to give this person a bit of a green light all right all right my angels and spirit guides of the divine please Whoop. okay lots of cards coming out here okay this one came out first so we've got the six of coins in reverse dealing with a taurus or you could have taurus in your chart notice a lot of reversals going on here this person's proper scratching their head i'm telling you um very very confused the six of coins represents there's an imbalance okay of some sort um i feel that either this person um is feeling as if um either you're judging them or they or you would judge them if they reached out to you with the uh king of wands male or female i feel that this person most definitely wants to take action and initiate this conversation um guys you're being being guided that you deserve this love this person has got a lot of passion for you um notice in this card there are uh four wands one two three four ones which is the four ones here this person is ready for long-term commitment marriage there is a lot of passion for you okay but it's not passion that they just want to kind of bed you and just kind of get yeah you know just 
do the deed and off they go. No, this is somebody that actually sees a long term commitment with you. Um, you also could be dealing with uh, Sagittarius and Scorpio. Scorpio's coming up again. Um, and then we've got the, uh, oh, so we've got the Eight of Cups here. So many of you, um, it feels as if either, it feels as if you walked away from an arranged marriage. And so therefore it has, it's knocked your confidence when it comes to love. Yeah. And even though you may be feeling these romantic stirrings and you're being guided that these are real it, and it's worth pursuing. Many of you, it feels as if you're on the verge of walking away simply because you're not confident. Maybe from past hurts, maybe something that didn't, you know, past relationship that didn't go your way. Release it, forgive it, take the learnings. But you're on the verge of literally walking away. This person brings you happiness with the nine of cups. Like you feel this connection in a very, very profound way. And you want nothing more but to rush in and see how this person feels. But you're just not confident. I feel that you're being guided that if you do take the reins of your life and really approach this person, regardless of different backgrounds, different religious factors, this connection is going to be abundance. This person brings you happiness. Yeah, it feels as if uh, you're being guided. You deserve this love and this love is going to be overflowing with abundance. A lot of lot of a lot of love. All right. But it does feel that you guys are on the verge of walking away because perhaps you're a little bit scared. You're keeping your cards close to your chest. There's no need to worry here. And then we've got um, the Palace of Cups. Now, the Palace of Cups is interesting because the Palace of Cups is all about emotions. These are the romantic feelings that are being stirred in you. They're very, very deep. What you feel for this person is undeniable, all right? Many of you, either you're going to be getting um, signs, synchronicities in your dreams, okay? Or if you are into meditation, it feels as if you're being guided that the answers that you get... Um, they're protected. There's something that you can rely upon. But many of you, like even like that's what the page of the Palace of Cups represents face up. But with it reversed, there feels as if there are some unhealed wounds that you are still trying to release. And like I say, it feels as if even though you're feeling these emotions, you're trying to ignore it. That's why many of you, you might even walk away from this connection. I feel that you're being guided. You so deserve this love. You really, really do. All right. We've got Pisces, Cancer. Pisces again coming up strongly. Scorpio's coming up strongly. Libra, Leo, Taurus. So any of those signs could be in your chart or whoever you're connecting with. They could be in their chart as well. Yeah, look at that. The queen of uh, coins, whether you are male or female, you're ready for this. Yeah, uh, I feel that many of you, you're being guided. You deserve this. I feel that even though you may be turning your back and giving this person a green light because you just think, yeah, and pigs will fly. You're being guided to do a whole 360 and look at this situation with fresh eyes. There is nothing to worry about. Speak to your friends. I feel that they will encourage you to move forward towards this person. The queen of coins is somebody that is extremely spiritual, somebody that's very grounded, uh, somebody that's very solid. It also could represent a married person. So guy, whoever I'm reading for, you may have been married already and it didn't work out. I was picking up for a small number of you an arranged marriage. Might not be for all of you. You might have just been married before. Um, and because of that, that marriage didn't work out. Uh, it feels as if you are, mm, yeah, a little bit apprehensive when it comes to love. Time to forgive. Release it. Yeah, it's going to really, 
once you do that it'll impact this relationship right here right now in a really really positive way also Sagittarius is popping up here and I think I can see Capricorn yeah and the, and Capricorn as well okay so uh Sagittarius and Capricorn popping up thank you <clears throat> and your final card look at that the four of wands um at the beginning and at the end but this time with the four of wands it's come out reverse <clears throat> many of you you may have been divorced that's why you're turning your back on giving this person a green light. This is long term commitment marriage. Notice your back is towards that. Uh, you have either been divorced, OK, or an arranged marriage that didn't go well. It still ended up in divorce. The key thing is here is that you've been married before. Those of you that I'm reading for. OK, and you're very apprehensive to go down that route again. You're being guided that you deserve this love. The four of wands um, in reverse, technically, it means that there is change coming your way. You're going through a transition. You're going through change. What you're feeling is real. There is no need to worry. It's time to be assertive with yourself. Take down your mask and express. You deserve this love and this love will be overflowing with abundance if you choose to take that step, be in the present and let go a broken marriage or a broken long term commitment that really left you um, very confused when it comes to love. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your advice? Thank you. First advice is move. Of course, get up, get active, try gentle exercise such as yoga, tai chi or pilates. Um, that's the physical stuff that you can do to kind of get your juices going, to get your endorphins going. But I also feel that it's being guided that it's time for you to move forward. Let go of a, a broken marriage, um, um, a divorce, something that didn't work out. You're coming out victorious. The healing time is done. It's now time to be in the present, be in the here and now, forgive whatever's happened and move forward because whoever is over here at this moment in time, um, this person is um, going to treat you well. Yeah, you're going to be overflowing with abundance. But if you don't move forward, I feel that many of you, you may consciously or unconsciously walk away from this person and that um, would be absolutely disastrous and quite sad yeah so that move i feel that you're being guided it's time to move forward thank you oh just know that you're protected you're not alone you are being looked after by your spirit guides and angels absolutely you're protected um, if you if this is resonating, you know, if you've gone through a divorce um, or a separation after being with somebody for a long period of time, um, you were protected through that journey. OK, and you are being protected now. It feels as if you're being guided to know that you deserve love like you deserve love, Virgos. We all do. Um, and I feel like they're just almost saying and this might be where the meditation is like, that's where you'll get answers. I feel like there's trying to say to you, look, we protected you through a really rocky relationship. We are going to protect you with this new relationship because you deserve it. And we already know that it's going to bring you abundance. Some of you, you might even get that message from close friends, confidants around you. Uh, look at that meditate <laughs> reconnect with your inner spirit walk practice yoga meditate or listen to music so do you know something there's something to be said about moving keeping your body moving physically moving um going into meditation shifting that blockage of something that broke down some time ago um because it's time to get rid of it. It's time to clear that out of your energy space. 
forgive, release, learn from it, move on. They protected you whilst um, whatever was going on that broke down for you and they're protecting you now. And I feel that you're being guided is to reconnect by meditation. They will give you the answers. I, I'm just a conduit for you right now to prompt you to move. It, it's like they're saying to you, it's time to move forward with your life. It really is time to move forward with your life because Virgos, you are very loving energies. Yeah, you're almost like the homemaker um, between you and Cancerians. You're the homemaker of the zodiac signs. Very loving energy, um, energies, beautiful energies, Virgos. And you're being guided that you do you you do deserve this love. And as you go into meditation, as you like physically start moving, getting active, um, even how, however small or large it is, those gentle exercises, walking in nature, whatever it is, it's like you're shifting, your, your spirit is shifting. And as you go into meditation or just connect with nature, signs, your past loved ones are never far from you. Notices, notice the signs they send you. So again, they're saying to you, I feel that your team is coming in so strongly and just saying, remember, remember what you went through. We protected you during that. It's time for you to release that. Be in the here and now. We want you to be loved. We want you to experience an abundance of love. Look out for the signs that we're sending you. That's that palace of cups. Many of you are going to get signs, dreams, synchronicities, not just directly from divine spirit universe, but from loved ones who have passed over. But look, it's in reverse. So it feels as if many of you are not, you're seeing, but you're not really seeing. Or you're just ignoring the signs and synchronicities that are coming towards you. And it feels like those signs and synchronicities have been coming towards you for a hot minute. They're coming in now and saying, right, Virgos, it's time to just put down a broken situation, forgive it, learn, le take the learnings, release and move forward. Be assertive and take back your power. Take back love. Take back giving and receiving love. There's absolutely no nothing to worry about with this person that's coming in because they definitely see you as long-term commitment marriage material, which many of you with the four of wands in reverse probably thinking, heck no, no way am I ever getting married again because you've gone through a bit of a rocky road. Um, one step at a time, yeah? There's no need to worry. This is an abundant connection. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgos. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye-bye.